tin and lead. Let me say a little bit about these. What are the common charges for tin and lead, if you have your periodic table out? According to the NERP pair effect, plus 2 and plus 4 for tin and lead. They're formed by roasting and then reduction. So if you remember your metallurgy a little bit, roasting and then reduction is how they're formed. Uh, tin. Let me say a little bit about tin. Just a little tidbits of information. How do you pronounce this word? Solder. Solder. Used for soldering. Uh, pewter. If you've heard of pewter, that's also tin. Uh, lead. Uh, where have we seen lead before? The lead acid batteries. So the lead acid storage batteries. Also ammo, ammunition uh, has lead in it, and pipes. We're going to see something interesting later. Uh, you can actually put other stuff in ammunition that's more dense, some radioactive material, and then that stuff's really potent. Uh, a, cup, a little bit more about lead. Uh, you need to be careful of lead. You can have lead uh, poisoning. So before, when children uh, used to have, remember you used to have your, what's, quote, lead pencils? And now we have lead pencils, but those are graphite. Before, they used to actually be made of lead. And kids, like in the third grade, would stab each other. And they go home with lead poisoning. Uh, which can cause, like, nerve damage, kidney failure, things like that. So... And it used to be all over the place, not just in pencils, but in gasoline. Now we have unleaded gasoline. We used to have leaded gasoline. Uh, paint used to be in paint. Used to be in solder. Uh, and, and that would cause, obviously, lead poisoning. So it's been phased out. Uh, used to, a couple years ago, maybe a year ago, there was a controversy of lead toys being shipped over, imported by the U.S. Um, so it's been totally phased out. But that can cause a lot of damage, the lead. Uh, sort of poisoning. So that's why I don't see it as much anymore.